Yeah. Baby, let me be 
he's also a rapper. Shout out to Shaz Bravo. He encouraged me and told me, hey brother, you can sing. You can sing. Um, I see you and I see that talent. So he used to take me to church. I wasn't at church, but I didn't love church. So like I wasn't that kind of church group. Uh, he spoke to me and then he started taking me to church. So we used to sing at church. And then blending our voices it was so nice, even though he raps. Blending our voices was so nice. You see that when we climb the stage to sing, people are being moved after the service. Oh, you did well. I love you. Service and everything. So at a point he said, Boy, this singing, you can make some cash out of it. It shouldn't be that you have the talent and you just sit with it. Even though you inspire me, you make it for the you bring it to the time, you should make some money out of it. Honestly, this part of our work, everything can also bring you some So I just wanted to get in here and come in. But moving to the gospel side, I was like, no, it's not the gospel. I'm not a Griffin Griffin type. I can't be sitting there and say, hey, like, hey, even though I pray and I sing gospel to you. Like, my part is to branch into the Afro beats. Yeah, so I sat down and wrote some songs. Actually, the first song I wrote, I haven't even recorded. I haven't even recorded, but I still remember it. I can sing it again at the time. But I wrote it, and he rapped. He got his rappers. We were like, we would move to the studio to record. But in senior high school, we weren't getting the time. We were going to sign an exit at the time. So we were just there. Playing ourselves. Oh, I guess song. I've written a song. And people were saying, Oh, sing for me. We sing to them. They be like, Oh, the song will chill, be nice. Wow, we're into the age. We didn't take us here. So after senior high school, I said, No, I can't sleep on this talent. I should do something. Even though my parents were in school. Maybe, yes. Because they wanted everything to be school and school. And they didn't want any divided attention. I always spoke to them that, Oh, mom, dad. I was still school, but I can't put my talent on it. But yet still, we said no. So they didn't support me. But I saw that I shouldn't sleep on it. I should put in some edge to move on. So I pushed, went to the studio, arranged a deal with the producer, and I got my first song out. That's my talent. This song is Um, Alright, starting from church, you know, ch they normally say charity begins at home. That's yes. Church is an avenue where most talents are on air. Let's say you attend church, you see people playing instruments, and the cymbals, trumpet, the trombone, the drums. And then to do music, you should, you should be able to play one or two of some instruments. Yes. So you looking at that, it gives you the edge and the freedom to say, no, that's then it's light, nice, it's creative. So I can get closer to that and then some. Let's say you know how to play the organ. Yes. Eventually you'll be playing. What you play, you'll be singing songs. Good. You begin from that side and it builds up. You now realize you can sing. So now that you realize you can sing, you try singing gospel songs. But the reason why people begin from the church and then they divert is mostly there are people who really want to do gospel. But in this part of our industry, gospel music is very difficult to divulge or let's say blow up. Because our predecessors, they did whatever they could do to lay down the foundation for us. But those ahead of us, let's say the earliest artists in our industry now, who are doing gospel, they mostly don't support their young talents coming up. Yeah, he called me, he gave me shades. Hey, all my life he gave me shades. And that's son, he gave me shades. Yeah, Uluwa, now he gave me shades. My main genre is Afrobeats, but I'm a versatile. Sometimes I can do hip hop, sometimes I can do Afrobeats. Sometimes too, when I get so much crazy, I do reggae. 
and I jump, I jump, jump, shake my head. I can make kick whatever I want to kick. Yeah, it's a feeling. Yeah. My side, I'm soaked up with blessings. Today I got no stressing, cause I broke down my hustling. And now this be my season. I'm soaked up with blessings. Today I got no stressing, cause I. Yeah, I feel beats is, is, is a genre that arose from. This is our local instrument. This is the xylophone, the conga. Yes, those kind of drums are mothers. Grandmothers used to play. Yes, and Afro beats basically it came out of Afro beats. We have Afro beats and Afro beats with an S at the end. Yes, so Afro beats with the S at the end came out of Afro beats. And Afro beats emerged from Ghana in the early 70s. But Afrobeat is a fella cutie from Nigeria. He was the one who brought that to him out. And he spread it all around the world. Most of the Caribbean and So most of the Afrobeat songs mostly come from this local instrument. Xylophones, this trap smoker. That's what the beats come from. Yeah, me call you my darling. I have seven songs. My darling, 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 my my darling, have um, one party, which is a ground where this means we are party. I also have Dimmy Shades out there. Dimmy Shades remix. Sima Jolly. Thank you. And then Fine Boy from Ghana Freestyle. Girl, give me your heart for love. Anytime when I think of you, I did guide us from this list. My favorite song from this list, I'll say it's Sima Jolly. Sima Jolly because that song came out as I was thinking about something that was special. Very, very special. Yes. Because of that kind of feeling I had, I was able to write this song. So very well, very really Actually, I sat down to see I was talking to this when the person hears it, she's gonna feel it. So this guy, out of that list, my first time factor, be my mommy, so I go be your daddy. Take me home. Oh yeah, baby. When I started music, it was, it was very, very tough. It was tough. But me rebranding, out of my rebranding, people are receiving me very well. I sometimes sit down and I receive calls that, oh, I just saw your song online and I just I'm so much impressed. I love it. Sometimes when I'm walking in town, someone taps me. Hey, fine boy. And I tell you, like, oh, so it's you. Who we normally see on Facebook, Instagram, listen to your songs. We are doing well, so keep it up. But before my rebranding, I was finding it difficult. People were not even paying it to me. Like, I, some, I sometimes felt like giving up. Yeah, as of now, things are moving on. Um, when I started music, when I started music my stage name was Umar Henry. Umar Henry. The Umar came from. The Umar is my name. Henry is also my name. So I was Umar Henry. But at a point, I felt something I used to put out there. People weren't paying it, people weren't listening. Even though they come and be like, oh, yeah, if you use the song, it's nice. But when you check the statistics of links I put out there, yeah, there wasn't any improvement. So at a point, I sat down and I was like, this thing, I need to do something about it. Because if I say I'm going to continue with it, people can't even mention it. Man, it looks so long for them to mention it. And then people say, ah, what kind of name is it? So 
Some people spoke to me about it. I was so sad that I was going to my manager about it. That, yeah, and what can we do about it? And these are the complaints people are leaving. And other entertainment gurus also used to call me and talk about it. So at a point I said, then we should do something about it and make a big I also spoke to Kisu. Shout out to Kisu. I spoke to him. I was part of the ground up. I had to do it. I spoke to him and he said, What's my nickname? When he said I had to do it, my nickname is Fine Boy. Which people used to call me for JHS. He said, Yeah, Fine Boy is a cool name. So I can't use it. That was really the good brand. Wait till we go gain if we don't answer to we By his grace we go make them cause my God they give me shit Five years, wow yeah, yeah, Five years to come uh, Five years to come Yeah, I see fine boy to be a very big brand worldwide Because I believe in what I do And have faith in God, the God I say it's going to elevate me. And my struggle isn't going to go waste. All those around me support me. We are all going to rise. So in five years' time, I really see Fine Boy to be a very huge man. Like my role model, Bruno Mars, who is someone I want to get to my knees. So I see Fine Boy to be someone who's going to be a Yeah, yeah, he called me. Sure. Um, there are a couple of things, some including international features, and also serious bookings, let's say tours. Yes, tours, and then checking of my lyrical dexterity, the content I put out there. Yes, when I began, it looked so childish. But people kept on speaking to me and I see me. And then I'm now seeing that I'm improving in what I write. Because people listening to me like, yes, you've inspired me in this way. Especially my gay shape song that's out there. Yes, people look at me and be like, yeah, fine boy, you've inspired us. And then this song is very motivation. So I see myself getting up because of these things. And then also, I'm trusting in God. I always pray and I'll commit my career to His hands. Because if He doesn't take hold of it, it is going to fall. And whatever God takes hold of rises in a perfect way. Celebratebar.com.gh. Yeah. Ooh, me, baby. Oh, yeah. Girl, I'll stick by you. I'll go day for you. Oh, yeah, me, number one. She has a number one. Baby girl, you know be jive, oh. You know be lie, I they talk, my dear girl, and you watch my wife. Oh, that's why I didn't tell you. I don't even know why I'm missing you anytime when I think of you. Most of the resources we need to push ourselves. And then, 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 a particular trend. Let's say if it's something from Sakon, Sak Nation fans, yeah, they love it. If it's something from Stone Boy, you see Chatter Movement fans debunking it. And the other nation debunking something from the other camp. It doesn't bring that kind of unity. And then if things of those sorts happen, we, the little ones, will be affected. We're just now looks as if everyone have kept the attention of the top three minutes that we we should be so the likes of this year's album is okay and people have taken all the Ghanaians as we have yes, it should be the album so that we do come in and also benefit from it 
looking at Nigeria, Kenya, and other African countries, we don't look into we having fun with When it's something for baby, we accept it, we push it because it's something that they will benefit the country and the continent as a whole. So, in our industry, I think petty should be changed. The industry is still good. We should stand firm by putting measures which are also going to benefit. And that will be projected to the world next because we are capable. We cannot have talent. Yes, um, basically, what has changed in this industry is the introduction of fun days where bandana. At the time Shatawali was bandana, the whole Ghana supported him. The likes of Taimi, um, Terrible Chaka, those times, the whole Ghana looked supportive to any act. That's how come Daddy Lumba, Kojo Enchi, Amachi Dede, all of them were able to rise. And those times, even though internet wasn't introduced, but people were purchasing music. People were purchasing Whatever kind of music it is, whoever it comes from, they purchase it. But when Bandana came back with the introduction of Shatter Movement, then Stoneboy also said, okay, Bing Nation, Sakori was like Sack Nation. Now Samini also came high grade family. You see, so it looks like we are solely pushed to this nation, we are solely kept to this particular nation. And if you don't give loyalty to this nation, we are tend to be a sellout because something we are kicked out. Society will start talking, fans will start talking, the whole lot about you and you are not being supportive, but you are being fake. So it's like now Ghanaians are even scared to say, hey, I'm not to this nation, I'm just to everyone and the whole lot. Your boss will start saying you are fake and the whole lot. So, introduction of fan base is our problem. We should check that out. If that is being checked, I'm sure people will patronize music for anyone, even someone who started music today. God and fine where does me I know they MP Success I free free me cause I know they give up By his grace we go make him cause my God they give me shakes Victory is a state of mind so take For my special friend Special friend Special friend Special friend Special friend Special friend Has a certain rank that's a very special secret. Mostly we vibe. So I felt here. This video helps me in terms of me, motivates me, encourages me, and tells me, oh, this decision we are taking a challenge. It's not good. Yeah, so do it this way. I also think of it and I'm like, so I decided to write that song. And that is how you give me shade. Yeah, blue and now he give me shade. Yeah. See me, blessings they over me. Never leave me, my brother. Don't get worried. Yeah, he too go cover you. If he bless my soul, bless your life. Yeah, yeah, he cover me. I go for Kwame Ije. Granddad, let's go for Kid. Yeah. First of all, um, I thank the GH Rising Star crew for bringing me on their prestigious show. You know, there are so many shows. To be on such a show and get this kind of warm welcome and hostility, it's, it's a top notch. So I, I really thank them very much for giving me this opportunity to speak out and then, yeah, bring out a lot of people. Also, I want to speak to my fans and then tell them whatever each and every person is doing, they shouldn't give up because I'm also not giving up and I won't disappoint them. I really want them to know that supporting me isn't a mistake, but they are going to feel very proud of me because I'm going to reach a certain level. They will stand and feel like, yeah, we are supporting this person. And yeah. Also, I'll be bringing out a song on the 26th of this month. Yes. The title is Flengo, a Nigerian word which means enjoyment. It, it basically has two meanings, enjoyment and don't do me yawa. It features Nigerian superstar 
Fireboy DM me. Oh, let me this white DM. Yeah. So basically that is it. And then yeah, they should they should expect more and more bangers from me. I have more in my fridge, and I'm still cooking. So, Cause body don't be firewood though In Jolly I'm a chump or no go for you Yeah, yeah Make a terminate all your worries No stress, my girl, that be my So shout out to your boss, my old manager Shout out to Trash Bravo Shout out to Lil Black, the dancer Shout out to Ajoa Diamond Shout out to Fine One Shout out to Fine Trio Shout out to Fine Rhymer and then, yeah, all those support me, shout shoutouts, legacy, never forget, Ruru, shout out all my niggas. Uh, DA Trident stars, be fit. Wine for me, bounce for me, bounce for me, dance for me, yeah, yeah. I die away, I die away. Who don't get me do? 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 Ah, this is my jolly, my jolly. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. You already know. Why? Why?